What's up, guys? So um, I figured uh, I'd go on and clean up my uh, garage here and straighten up a little bit, and I'd show you guys what all um, what all I pretty much used throughout the year, or I guess my tools for 2014. I mean, I made a video earlier this year, um, and I bought a few more uh, things since then. So um, I guess we'll just start off right here. I've got you know just shovels and pitchforks and 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 rakes and stuff like that. Um, those are just, it's just stuff. I don't really even use all that stuff that often. It just depends on what type of job I'm doing. Um, then I've got, uh, you know, like spare gas cans and spare buckets and spare, uh, I got blades, spare blades over here. They're sharp, ready to roll. Um, I've got, um, let's see here. We've got all, we've got yard signs right here. Um, We've got like oils, um, things like that, air compressor, um, got a portable air compressor right there, uh, in case you get a flat tire, uh, got, uh, in case you need to, you know, um, got, um, you know, anyway, like I said, I got, I got oils and stuff like that, um, and, uh, I've got spare chains for the chainsaw spare park spark plugs um these two are for the uh the zero turn this one is for the uh snapper i think i don't know maybe that's for something that i don't know um uh let's see here i've got some uh uh uh, just storage and stuff up here just for like things that I use like I've got some earbuds uh, that I bought um, you know and uh, there's another box up there from the earbuds and then I've got like just some just some tools nothing major um, here's my camera right here I'm actually getting ready to film doing my front yard I pulled pull up blew all the leaves off real quick well actually I, what I was doing is I was cleaning the floor here is blowing all the stuff off the floor then I got to cleaning all this and then I get the street so I was like well I'll get all that uh after I make this video real quick because I pulled all this stuff out and I've got to put all this stuff up before it gets dark <laughs> so <laughs> you know I don't want to be sitting out here trying to put this shit up in the night so uh, I can cut that in the daytime dark or I can cut it tomorrow and actually I'll probably just put all this stuff up in the in here and then I'm gonna probably put it all out and just get everything ready to be not used I guess. I mean, some stuff I'm not going to winterize. Like, I'm not going to winterize the zero turn. I'm not going to winterize the, the two of the push mowers. I'm not going to winterize the leaf blowers. I'm not going to winterize the chainsaw. Um, not going to winterize the leaf, the, the weed eater. You know, I mean, I'm going to still use these things. I mean, people will still call you wanting you to cut up brush or, you know, you might get a tree cut down and I just, you know, I'll still use those things. So I'm not really going to get rid of that. I'll probably winterize the edger. Um, you know, pressure wash, I've got to still use it for, pressure wash in a couple houses and then people may call you and want you to pressure wash uh i doubt it though in the winter time uh definitely will won't do the i won't use the tillers or anything so anyway let me just give you a rundown of all the stuff that i have and um we'll start with the cub cadet 50 inch um it's got about 800 700 hours give or take um let's see here <clears throat> Seven hundred and twenty, no, it's twelve point seven volts. Seven hundred twenty-two hours on the uh, hour meter. Seven hundred twenty-two hours, point eight. Um, uh, it's a fifty-inch. It's got a twenty-two horsepower. Um, you know, it's got three blades on it. Um, does what it's supposed to do. Uh, then. We have the uh, edger right here. This is a um, 3.5 horsepower uh, um, Murray, I think, uh, yard mat, yard mate or something like that. Oh yeah, yard yard machine. Um, 3.5 horsepower. I mean, it does fine. I don't haven't used any other ones, so I don't know what to compare it to. This is actually the first weed eater that I got. This is a Troy built. This was about 250 bucks or so maybe 199 i can't really remember but um it was the biggest one that they had at lowe's at the time um and it's a four stroke uh it takes full gas and it's a compartment for oil this is the uh the troy built uh this is the uh the t 
TB6044, no mixing oil and gas. Um, now the pull string on this, um, it, it stopped working, like this thing right here. And this is all like kind of one unit, I believe. But it's got this jump start thing right here that you can actually just use a drill and start it up right there. So uh, I don't really use it anymore. I mean, I got it because it's got the attachment pl pro pl attachment plus. So you could put like a trimmer, you could put a, a hedge trimmer or a weed eater or edger or post saw or whatever. But I mean, once it broke and you know, and actually this is like the third one that I've had. I've replaced this maybe three times. I mean, it's, like I said, I would, this one wouldn't even be broke if I had been on my P's and Q's about when the, the warranty was up on this, but I wasn't paying no attention. <coughs> it is what it is. So I bought the steel. This is a steel S, uh, FS110. I would freaking highly recommend one of, uh, I mean, I don't know the difference between the 110s and the 190s and things like that, but I would highly recommend a better, weed eater over a cheaper weed eater all day long it makes your life so much easier i mean so much easier um then i got started with the pole and actually i started with one of these with that one right there and um used that for about a year or so or i mean i don't know how long i used it uh used it for what however when i used it and um ended up messing up so i bought that this one right here and actually i bought this one earlier this year and um then I bought this one and I bought this one from Lowe's and uh, then I went into the place and I seen that this one wasn't really that expensive. It was like 150 bucks or so. So I went ahead and got the steel too and then I just kept that one. And honestly, I can probably fix this. I think it's just a dirty carb. Uh, and the only reason it doesn't have the, uh, the hose is just because it's in the box up there. See the box is right there. Um, I just didn't take it out. Like all I needed to do was just the engine. <laughs> so I just put the old one on there and, um, so, you know, so I have two of those now. Um, I have uh, three push mowers. The reason I have so many, I actually had four, but I traded, I had two, started out with two Craftsmans and um, traded one of the Craftsmans for that tiller right there, the Mantis tiller. So then once I got the Mantis tiller, then I got this snapper and then one of my customers gave me this one and so it's just this is what I run with. It's just this this craftsman's a little heavy, and uh, it's it's not as heavy as the snapper, but the snapper is well way more powerful than this craftsman. Now this this uh, Troy built right or this Toro right here, I mean it's okay, it's lightweight, and that's all that I can really say that I like about it. It's easy to start. Um, I mean it it starts well, and I mean it's okay. It, it doesn't. I mean if I need to bag anything, I just use the snapper. If I need anything high grass, I use the snapper. Anything else, I use I just use that. No big deal. Um, I've got a pressure washer. I think I just made a video on the pressure washer, but I'll just say something about this one again. This is not really a high wa uh, PSI pressure washer. It's just 2400. Uh, but I mean, it can, it can do the siding on houses. I can do sidewalks. Um, you know, I can do driveways, things like that. I mean, it's what it's for. I can just clean off my equipment and things like that. Spray my truck off. Um, you know, um, things like that i've got a chainsaw it's a steel bg uh 155 i do believe um unless that's what the unless that's what that is i can't remember i don't remember the numbers i guess i could look at it it is a oh ms 170 my bad see it's a steel MS-170. I mean, I got that. Uh, it's paid for itself time and time again. I think it was about $200 or so. And, uh, you know, I mean, shoot, you can cut down a little tree like that. No big deal. Easily, you know, easily. Uh, I have two tillers. I have a mantis tiller and a front tying tiller. Um, a lot of people around here like the gardens, taking care of and everything. And um, so, and I have a garden in my backyard, a little one. So I use that. Uh, have three sprayers two backpack sprayers and one uh that's not a backpack sprayer and um i just have that because uh i mean hell if i have somebody helping me then we can uh we can uh do um front yard and backyard at the same time or you know whatever um whatever you know whatever it is so yeah uh 
got a generator. A customer gave me this. I have never even used it. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I uh, don't even know. Uh, I don't even know if it runs or anything. I just, they just gave it to me. So, um, you know, so this is pretty much just a general setup of the things that I have. Um, for the end of 2014, uh, this is December the 12th or so, or December the 13th, Saturday. Um, so again, like I said, um, hopefully at the uh, beginning of next season, maybe I'll upgrade a few items. Um, really don't see that I'll be adding anything to the, as far as equipment goes, because I'll be doing more, um, like I'm gonna, Santa Claus is supposed to be bringing a welder. <laughs> So, um, you know, I would be doing some welding stuff now, but you know, you got to save for the, the, the thrill or whatever. So anyway, so, I mean, I'll be, I want to be, uh, I'll be doing some stuff to the trailer. Like I'll be trying to make a little cage to go right here and uh, maybe a little cage to go right here. Um, and then, uh, I'll be buying some, some of the, uh, trimmer pl pro racks or whatever, and I'll be welding them on. And I may even, um, you know, find some back, you know, just, I don't know, just, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be just welding and buying, playing with stuff for the, the, the trailer, getting, trying to get more organized, trying to fit all the majority of the stuff that I use on there. Um, and then I'll be, um, I think the next thing that I'll buy, I'd, I'd like to get a, a, like a 36 inch or something, but I'd also like to replace this one before it breaks on me. <laughs> I'd like to get something more commercial. Um, I'd also like to get a backpack blower and I'd also like to get um uh a 36 incher another uh another weed eater another 110 and then I'd like to get an edger a stick edger um so you know so these are just the things that I'm working with uh so was going to use my camera but i figured it would have been a little bit too different it would have been easier just to use my phone so that's why i'm taking my phone it's a little shaky and stuff see the camera's right there charging so that way i can uh because like i said i'm gonna stick the camera out here and i'm gonna film actually what i'll do is i'll probably cut everything to the street and then i'll just cut it over a couple times then blow it back over here and be just fine um and uh so like I said, I uh, was putting stuff up on the walls. This is some of the stuff that I got from the uh, expo. I plan when I go next year, I'm going to put more stuff on the wall and so on and so on. Um, I have uh, oh, I have two. I actually have three coolers. Um, you know, I usually just take these and I'll put like I'll fill them up with ice and then I'll put like a pack of water or something. And um, and it it usually stay cold for like two or three days. Um, so I don't have to like keep hanging it out and then I can just let the water drain out, put some more in there and just be fine. Uh, also put the kids, uh, like pops and stuff in there. So it doesn't take up space in the refrigerator. And then that way they can just come out to the garage and they can get them a pop or whatever. No big deal or a drink or whatever. Um, yeah, like I said, I got yard signs, got some, uh, Got some fertilizers and stuff, or uh, some weed killer and stuff like that. Have some granulate and some spray. Uh, it just depends on what I'm using and when I'm using it. Uh, so, yeah. You know, guys, this is pretty much uh, all the stuff. I got a little toolbox here. I mean, I've got a little chest here that's got some stuff in it. You know, got some sockets and things like that, starter food and things like that. So. And this is what I use to take film all my other video. My, most of my videos is the. It's just a Canon. It's nothing like super fancy or anything. It's just a. It's just a digital camera. Got a laptop right there. So when I'm when I'm sitting out here, actually, I really don't even use that. Really, I mean, like, um, I don't know. I, I use it just I'm on the computer in the house. Like anytime I come out here, I, I really just am out here. Like I can use my phone, but like. Uh, you know, sometimes when I need to, like, if I'm, well, I mean, honestly, you know, I don't, I really don't even need to take this. Like, I mean, really, so, you know, it's just there. So, uh, yeah, so, anyway, guys, just thought I'd show you what all I use and 
the generic stuff that I have. So thank you for watching.